didn't work. <laughs> So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here joining us. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to actually do a spring cleaning edition. I have a few things, actually a lot of things around the house that I've been just eager to deep clean. So this may be a vlog that I'm filming over a couple of days just because I have a four and a half month old and um, spring cleaning this year is gonna just be more of a challenge in between breastfeeding putting her down for naps and all those mommy daddy duties. So today I wanted to just start with the laundry. I've been washing some of Sage's clothes and also I just stripped the bed and I'm gonna also do a few other things, put them in the wash. Uh, that way it's just not like so much to do in one day. I already feel overwhelmed. <laughs> So uh, Matt and I are actually going to rotate the mattress. So this one here, you can't actually flip it, but it's something I like to do every few seasons or so is just to rotate the mattress or flip it depending on what type of mattress you have. It's good just to help circulate things also so you don't get like an indent just in one spot of the mattress. I will link my mattress down below. I'm obsessed with this mattress. It is amazing. We've really loved it and I feel like it hasn't even gotten like smushed down since we've had it, which has been, I want to say almost two years now. Matt, how long have we had this mattress? Yeah, like a year and a half. Okay. Spring cleaning. Let's do this. I'm excited. New season, new clean home, new mom, new me, right? Or is that New Year's? Anyways, we're cleaning. I was going to clean the duvet cover, but nobody got time for that. It's fine. <laughs> no cashew. We're trying to clean. Spring cleaning tip number one, have a mattress protector. It's gonna protect your mattress from sweat, from spilling coffee on it in the morning, all of those things. And on your pillows, get a pillow protector to protect your pillow from sweat and coffee stains and all those things. <laughs> I just got these off Ikea, super cheap. And this mattress protector is actually the same company as the mattress, so I will link those below for you guys to check out. Oh my God, it's so heavy. We're Sage. Can you swing? Oh. <laughs> So my next tip is to get a shower curtain liner that's a fabric one, not the plastic one. They're just way easier to wash. You don't have to throw them out and I feel like you can get stains out of them a little bit easier. That's what we have. This one was super cheap from, I think, Walmart. And we like to wash this every few weeks. And also the hand towels and the rug. I'm going to wash this too. This always gets really dingy, so. Okay. All right, shower is clean. <laughs> it's officially day two of our spring cleaning vlog. Um, so this is actually a hack that Mr. Matt always does. I don't know if it's a hack, but he cleans the shower. Oh, my toast is ready. He cleans the shower in while he's taking a shower. So this is another tip for you guys. Bring your cleaning stuff <laughs> in the shower with you clean the shower and then just shower off and like you don't have to worry about getting wet and messy because you're going to shower anyways and I feel like you can just run the shower and let the steam do its thing um so I'm going to actually have this is like my tried and true super heavy duty tile scrubber oh it's called a grout and tile cleaner that's what it's called it's amazing it works so good and then I'll just use like a white vinegar spray and it just suds up it works amazing I've shown it in another like spring cleaning video before I'm gonna link all my spring cleaning videos down below for you guys but it's really good it's non-toxic you don't have to worry about like being in the shower with it and yeah it's just you know showers clean I'm clean let's start day two Meanwhile, this girl's waiting for me to feed her. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like excited to see you. Yeah, she's like, I know. Mm -mm. Milky. Milk. You ready to spring clean? Sure. Matt loves cleaning. Or he loves when I'm in the mood to clean. It's just like a clean house. I don't like cleaning. Yeah, that's true. 
You like cleaning sage? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Ew. Ew, gross. Gross, dude. When I'm not having green smoothies, I'm having PB and jam toast on sourdough. Also, I'm just cooking up some hard boiled eggs because we need energy for spring cleaning. Mm. How is it 11.15? This is the first thing I'm eating. Okay, so one thing that's been on my list is cleaning the oven. It's so disgusting. Like, I don't think I've cleaned it once. I've done like the quick, there's like a quick clean option. I haven't even done that. I've done that maybe once when we were at our old apartment and it's getting pretty bad. So it's like so bad that I don't even think I'm gonna just be able to wipe it down. I'm gonna have to do like the full blown cleaning method or the self clean method, which I don't know. Wait, this one has it, right? Yeah, self clean. Okay, so this one has an easy clean and then a self clean option. I have never used like an oven's like full on self cleaning option. So I figured it's better to do it now before it gets really hot outside because I think it just gets really, really hot and I don't know how many hours it stays on for. Hopefully not more than four because we have chicken to cook tonight in the oven. So I don't know, have you guys used your self cleaning option in the oven? I'm gonna try it right now. Wish me luck, I hope this works. I'm finding all these new angles. Okay, so I still have my eggs there. I've not eaten them, but we'll, we'll eat those in a sec. We still store stuff in the oven. We need to, we need to stop this. Okay. God, it's so messy. Okay, I need to show the before. Do you, do you see that? Ew. Like, let me get you a good close up. Ew, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Right, Cashew probably just wants to lick it up. Okay, so we are gonna close this. Even the top is kind of gross. Okay, we're gonna do self clean start. I don't know. It says four hours as a timer, and it locked it. Okay. See you in four hours. I don't know what's gonna happen. This could be a complete fail and I might wish I never started this journey. Do you think it's gonna stink in here? Mm -hmm. I was reading about it. Of it's course Matt's like researching. Specifically mine's a little like, like yeah. Yeah. Fires? Dangerous emissions, fires. Dangerous emissions? Like coming out of the oven? Mm -hmm. Wait, should Sage not be here while we're cleaning the oven? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna stop that. <laughs> I changed my mind. Stop. Okay, scratch that. We're not doing self cleaning of the oven. Fumes circulating in the kitchen can irritate pets and children. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that scratch that idea. Okay, we'll have to do that when uh, I'm over at my mom's or something. Then, like, who wants to self clean their oven if you're gonna have to, like, smell all this nasty stuff? Right, Cashew? Okay, that, that was a fail. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my hair back. What we are gonna try to clean, well, I'm gonna give the bottom a wipe down because there's like actual chunks of food and I feel like that's a fire hazard. And then I am gonna see if I can make some kind of concoction to clean the glass, because it's pretty gross. But like, we're gonna have to do the self-cleaning option like when Sage and Cashew are not here because that does not sound like a safe thing. And thank God Matt is the smart one that Googled about it. Okay. <laughs> some vinegar and I'm actually gonna use my grout and tile cleaner concoction which is basically like um, it's the thieves all-purpose cleaner with baking soda and essential oils and it works so good so I'm just gonna turn it into like a paste scrub it and we'll see if it cleans it a bit I don't know I'm 
not gonna lie, I already kind of feel demotivated with cleaning right now because of that. So I'm gonna do some like decluttering and tidying up because that's part of my spring cleaning this year. I feel like there's just crap everywhere and I wanna get rid of it. So I'm gonna do a bit of that. And then once I get Matt's help, I'm gonna um, maybe do some like moving around furniture and stuff so we can clean underneath because that couch has not been moved since Seiji has been born. <laughs> Fun fact, these are the pants that I gave birth to Sage in. I remember standing at the edge of the hospital bed while my water was just breaking all over them. Fun times. So yeah, they are now my cleaning pants. I almost wanted to throw them out because I was just, I had just very painful memories wearing them, but they're Lululemon pants and I ain't throwing them out. So we're using them for cleaning. These are frames I ordered for my gallery wall. They'll be part of another vlog. You're so gentle next to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to lay down. It's like, it's like hey. I'm, mommy, she's in my way. All right, so I bought a new mug. I haven't bought a new mug in a while. And I was at Chapters the other day. I'll link this one down below, but I thought it was so cute. Look how pretty this mug is. I love it. It has like that ceramic handmade vibe. I don't know if it's actually handmade. Made in China. Nope. <laughs> but it's a ceramic mug. It's so cute. And what I like about this one is that I feel like I can use it for my herbal coffee and tea. So you can use it for loose leaf tea because it has a little tea strainer and the little topper. But it's also a good size just for like regular like coffee. I don't drink coffee, but like my herbal coffee with steamed milk or frothed milk. So cute. So the rule in this house is if you get a new mug, you gotta get rid of one. So let's go find a mug we need to get rid of. All right, I don't know. Um, I, mean, I don't know if I have a mug to get rid of. I just talked for five minutes and realized I wasn't recording. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one and this pink one, um, just from my mug cabinet because this one actually, I find it's quite small. It's cute for like decor and stuff. So I'm gonna do something else with that one. And this doggy one here, it's super cute. But once again, I find it a little bit small so I don't reach for it as much. So I might use this as like a pen holder in the office or something, I'm not sure. So I forgot to show the after cause I didn't know I was gonna clean it. But this is the plates and glasses cover. I just organized everything. I have all my mason jars um, organized by size. And then I'm gonna put these extra wine glasses. They're a bit of a taller, like different shape. I'm gonna put these downstairs in that kitchen just cause we obviously do not need this many wine glasses up here. So just extra things. I'm gonna put them downstairs just so it doesn't clutter up the main cupboards that we always access. Here is a far away shot. I think it looks really clean and organized another cleaning hack is get yourself a little step stool this one just folds so i can tuck it away on the side next to the fridge but this thing comes in handy for cooking for cleaning organizing i mean i'm 5'4 so i'm not super short but i'm definitely not tall enough to get to the high cupboards when i'm like doing things like this so safety first <music> So 
So the oven was like a complete fail. Like I'll show you the after it's not even, I mean, dirt came off, but it looks the same. I mean, you see me more, but like none of this came off. <sighs> oh well, I tried. <laughs> Better luck next year. We found some of Castor's toys. God knows what's under here. Ew, so many dog food crumbs. Cashew, you nasty. Okay, no, we're... <laughs> Cashew, we're cleaning. Cashew. Oh So another thing I like to do every so often is actually dust the leaves of my fig tree just because they can get dusty and it's harder for them to absorb sunlight and it just also makes the house messy. So I'm going to just give it a quick dust with just a damp cloth and get it all nice and clean. Oh, it's so dusty. Feels like I'm cleaning paper. We're gonna get you all brand new again. So there's actually a mark of where the dirt ends. Can you see it? Like right there. Is Matt's trying to clean that. I'm going along the baseboards. Oh, so gross. Ew. Dog hair. Oh my God. When you have a dog, it just means you have to clean twice as much. It's actually disgusting. The dog hair never ends. Okay, so I'm gonna try making something. I haven't done this before, but I used to like, I remember growing up, my mom would put something similar like this on like the carpet and the couch and stuff. And what I'm gonna do is basically make like a deodorizer. So I'm gonna just fill this with some baking soda and then some essential oils. So I'm gonna do a mixture. This one is citrus fresh. It has a mixture of citrus oils and peppermint. I think it's, I don't know if it's peppermint or spearmint. Uh, oh, it's spearmint. And then I'm also gonna put some purification. Is this crooked? I don't know if that made a difference. Okay, I'm also gonna put in some purification, which is really good for just cleansing the air, eliminating smells. Um, so I'm gonna do just a couple drops of each one. And essentially, no pun intended, I'm going to stir this up and sprinkle it on the couch and the carpet, let it sit for like 20 minutes and then vacuum it up. So it just kind of helps absorb odors because we don't use Febreze in this house. I feel like that's so bad to be breathing in those chemicals. Um, so this is just a non-toxic odorizer that we're gonna use for the, like, the fabrics and stuff that you don't necessarily wanna like steam clean all the time. Like we have steam cleaned them, but it's been a while. So I'm just gonna do this to get rid of the dog smell. Sorry, Cashew. So this is Cashew's couch, the Ottoman. So this is like the really stinky one. So I'm just gonna Dust this over top. Cash is like, what the F are you doing with my couch, girl? We're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna do these two couches. Hopefully this does not ruin our couches. I really feel like this is gonna work. sprinkling fairy dust. I'm gonna make another batch of my all-purpose cleaner. I use this pretty much to clean my entire home. This is the concentrate. 
It's from the Thieves line, and I like it because it just basically uses essential oils to clean. So just, oop, add, you can just do one capful, but I like to do two for just like a nice deep clean because I have a dog and now a baby. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wipe that up. And then you just fill it up with water. Shake it up. You have a cleaner. It's so cheap. It costs like, I feel like it's like 99 cents or something per bottle if you do one capful. Um, so I love this. It smells good. I feel safe using it around cashew and sage. And it basically cleans like any surface. So I love this. All right, now to clean some more. <laughs> I hear sage stirring. So if we can uh, get this powder all vacuumed up and couches put back before we actually get her and before she freaks out, that would be great because this is not a baby friendly zone right now. That looks so satisfying on camera. Cashew, we said don't go on the carpet yet. She's gonna have baking soda all over her. She's like, I don't understand what's happening. Sniff test. <sighs> it smells pretty fresh. It smells really, really fresh in here, eh? Did you get it locked? Yeah. Doesn't it smell really good in here? Yep. That's not a good idea. Highly recommend. Furniture was not damaged. But like the whole living room just smells like freshness, like lemons instead of dog. so exhausted and I think it's only two o'clock but cleaning has been going good wait till you see the living room it is so fresh and clean smells like lemon now we gotta clean in here a little bit I gotta clean off the dresser I gotta do some more laundry Sage's room is pretty much cleaned I went through a few things yesterday yeah your place is clean but yeah, like I wasn't going to get all my spring cleaning done today. Like I need to go through my closet and just like purge and get rid of things. I just want like less clutter. I feel like I say that every spring, but I just, I want less clutter so I can just see the things I have and the things that I use all the time. All right. Sorry for the vacuuming soundtrack in the background. Mm, so cute. Noise. Is that thunder? Is that a vacuum? Do you got a diaper? Oh, you do. Let's go change your diaper and go feed you some milky and then finish up cleaning. You gonna help? You gonna help? 
Sage is working on her abs. <laughs> And I just wanted to do a little haul. I shared this on my Instagram stories, but in case you missed it, super cute pieces. I got this from H&M, a little yellow polka dot raincoat. It has a hood. I thought it was so cute. I also got this little peach sweater. Stop working on your sit-ups. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I got this peach sweater. Her nickname is Peach, so I thought this was very appropriate. I got little shoes, which are a little big. They're like the size of her. And also the outfit she's wearing right now is new as well. You look very cool. Just saying. And then I got her some swimsuits for the summer. So this is just a little piece, like a two piece set comes with a headband. I don't know how practical this is, but it'll be cute for photos. And then I got a little sun hat. Um, this was all just washed. So I'm just putting it away. And then look at this little one piece with rainbows and the texture is really soft so I got that and I'm just gonna put everything away so I thought I would share okay well jacket and the shoes all right that'd be so cute together too bad these are huge this is gonna go in here okay have you seen anything this cute the answer is no like what I'm just gonna put the little headband on the hanger and put the sun hat away all right, so we got a special delivery today. We got a play yard from Bugaboo. So I've been actually wanting to get one of these for Sage for a bit now. Just because obviously we have Cashew running around and so she can't really do that much like floor time in the living room. We usually go to her room, um, but I think this is gonna be handy just to make sure she's safe and it's like clean and dog hair free. And this is great too, cause it's travel friendly. So you can bring it to someone else's house and it's just like an extra spot for them to sleep in like a bed. So Matt, I may need you to pull one side. Oh, oh this is like really easy to... Oh my God, that was the easiest thing to open. Oh, that was so easy. All right, so Matt ended up helping out. There's actually like a raised part you can put in, it just zippers around, and then you put the mattress on top and has like the mattress cover, so it's easy to wash. But I'm excited. Okay, let's put her in and see how she likes her new home. So they can actually sleep in this too. Like I said, if you're going to someone's house, you need a little bed, a portable bed, I think this would be perfect. I will link it down below. Thank you, Bugaboo. This is awesome, and I'm excited to start using it. Okay, you wanna check out your new home? Look, you can roll around. Look, yeah. See? Yum, 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 There you go. I want to quickly let you guys know about a secret spring sale that we're doing over on the healthnutshop.com. If you guys spend over $50, you will get a free Beauty Nut Skincare Lip Butter with full size in with your order as long as you leave the code lip butter in the notes section when you check out. We will just throw it in to your order um, so you guys can try out the wonders of the Beauty Net Skincare Lip Butter. It is amazing, I love it. I have like five scattered around the house. Matt laughs at me all the time because I'm always losing them, yet there's like so many in, in our house right now. So yeah, I want to give you guys a little secret spring sale for those of you who watch the vlogs. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy some spring shopping and I definitely have done my spring shopping. <laughs> So um, yeah, enjoy that little uh, gift with purchase when you spend $50 or more. Links down below to shop the site and don't forget to uh, just add that note lip butter upon checkout in the notes section. Um, all right, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. <laughs> so we're in the office. We got the rug here that has not been shaken out or cleaned since like we set up the space. So we're just gonna carry it outside, give it a good shake and then- all the dirt yeah oh so dusty yeah. this is like where cashew goes back and forth to go outside so it's uh, quite dirty the 
floor is just covered. Can you see? The floor is just covered in dust and crumbs. Okay, I gotta get the vacuum. <laughs> So I just finished uh, vacuuming and steam mopping behind the crib. Uh, Sage has a load of wash to do as well. And I'm just gonna freshen up the room. I'm gonna take a little tangerine and just drop it on these clay diffuser balls. I got this thing from Etsy, I'll link it down below. And we just leave this here for if she has a poopy diaper or just to freshen up the bedroom without having to plug anything in. I also just have the window open to let some fresh air in. Fresh and clean in here. Things are looking good. This is our outdoor furniture pillows. I just gotta clean in here. Oh, I have a lot of laundry. All right, we are just wrapping up for the day. High five. Sir Matt, you did good. <laughs> uh, we are just putting away like the miscellaneous things that usually end up everywhere when you're like deep cleaning. And then we are gonna strap up Seiji in the car seat and we're gonna do a couple of errands. I have some things to return. We gotta get gas. We gotta, oh, get cashews food. Uh, just a few things that we wanna get before it gets too late and we get lazy and we don't wanna, not late. I hate when I say lazy, cause like we ain't lazy, man. We have a four and a half month old. We're spring cleaning, we're working, we're doing all the things. And I hate when I say that, but we, before we get tired, we're gonna go do those things. Cause I know if we wait too late, it won't happen. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly put away these clothes and then we'll head out. I have some loads of laundry in. Um, so I'll have to put that away afterwards, my arm is sore so thank you so much for watching this is like a different kind of spring cleaning video than i've done in the past but i just wanted to do like a really casual one you know you guys are liking the real life kind of vlogs and honestly they're like the easiest for me to film with a, a little one needing my attention like all the time so and they're also fun i feel like they're more like personal with you guys we're just hanging out we're cleaning i share some tips um but if you guys want to check out my last few spring cleaning videos i'm gonna link those down below i do different things than i did today there are still things i do i just i just want to switch it up for you guys so that is it thank you subscribe thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next vlog Mwah. love you guys and that's how you entertain your dog while you clean the house. Give them a nice bone to munch on all day.